Hi, I'm Antara Bharadwaj and we are here at the Crown Plaza Cabana Hotel in Palo Alto celebrating Maitri's 26th annual gala. Do you see any changes in the community's attitude towards domestic violence? I think that's a very good question. Uh, our community has evolved a lot over the last 26 years that Maitri has been around in the sense that they, uh, they not just realize they, uh, what the, what the uh, problem with domestic violence is, which gets amplified because we are away from home, so the problems of loneliness amplifies the usual problems of domestic violence, which I do not want to uh, diminish the, uh, the, prob the extent of the problem, but the community shows up in these events like Gala to support us, and that is in itself an endorsement that they are uh, willing to step up uh, and help and uh, realize that uh, they are the only ones who can help us. The help is not, not coming from India. It is Silicon Valley which is going to have to perform and support people who need their help. In your 20 plus years of being involved in Maitri, have you noticed any difference in the community's attitude towards domestic violence? I think it's getting better. I'm sure we are uh, one by one we are helping our clients and uh, as uh, you know that we get 40,000 uh, call per year and uh, 4,500 is almost crisis call and uh, we have helped almost 4,000 uh, our client with the, and, and we empowered them with the, now they are uh, sufficient they can live in their life very uh, normal way and it's it's a it's a problem which uh, is people don't like to share. It's a very isolating problem which uh, women doesn't come out. So we have Matri which they can come out and talk to them in very very private manner and uh, very confidential manner. From my point of view, and I truly believe in it, because when I was just on the outside, all I kept hearing about is women's problem. And uh, to me, it's not women's problem. It's a community problem. It's a problem that's affecting all of us. And it's not just my generation, it's your generation. Everybody is affected by this. And I wanted to be part of this and hopefully show to the man world that we are solution, we are not a problem. There are two things that I really like about Maitri. There are many causes here that one can be involved in. Uh, but Maitri actually serves the people in the community that we live in. And uh, it addresses an issue that most people refuse to even acknowledge exists. And so uh, for me, those were the two most important factors when I was looking for you know, where to put some of my time and effort. One of uh, sort of the most amazing things that have happened in the recent past is more and more younger generation folks are coming into the fold now. A lot of people that are interested in Maitri's agenda but not necessarily available throughout the year to support a volunteer will decide, you know, we want to do an event, we want to do a play for Maitri, we want to do a performance for Maitri. And with that, we reach a whole new group of people that haven't heard about the agency. And so for the first time, I think, over the last some years, people are not calling us necessarily when they're in trouble. They're calling us because they know that there could be room for trouble. You know, someone I know is, is going through um, a not so happy time with her boyfriend. He stalks her a lot. Um, is this domestic violence? You know, someone I know um, who's married to a woman that he says is abusive. Is this domestic violence? Can men be abused? Can women be abusive? Someone I know has a father who is, you know, whose passport has been taken away, who's uh, um, basically at home, who has to answer to his daughter, who has to respond to her texts every hour. Is this domestic violence? I think part of the work that we do is not so much going to people and saying, you know, you shouldn't be in this situation, but much rather saying, if you feel uncomfortable, if you feel anxious, if you feel like you've been stripped of your 
your dignity or you feel that you're being violated in some sense we're here to come talk things through. I think there's a lot more awareness now than there was before because there's so many different organizations and so many different ways that people are able to spread the news of different types of um, abuse or violence and so I feel like the new generations as they come because they're more informed they'll be able to more like they'll be able to like kind of see it more and be able to identify it upon seeing it and I feel like that'll add a lot more to the way that people are cared and it'll instead of becoming such, such a taboo subject it'll be something that people are more comfortable to talk with. It's been super exciting to see how much larger uh, the community is, how many more men have, have come into the fold uh, and even in these galas that have been happening for so many years now used to just be all women, it used to the message used to be um, I think a lot more a lot a lot sadder so it was hard to bring in other people into the fold and get them to support it because they didn't really they weren't able to connect with it and it, and it was too much too many sob stories um, and now what I see is that the story that my three is telling is much more uplifting and they're talking about the changes in the community they're talking about the changes that are happening in people's lives uh, and I think that has made it broaden the support quite a bit and allowed for the message to resonate more throughout the entire South Asian community. I think we are at a wonderful juncture. One could always take the negative side and say we have a long way to go. Yes, we do. But the fact that we are at this gala, which was sold out eight weeks before the event, uh, the fact that we have so many people supporting us, and we have a $1.2 million budget, which 50% of it is supported by the community, I think there's complete shift in the way people perceive familial violence. I think from a community that was very conservative, very much about let's not talk about issues outside the house, to supporting events like this, working with us, um, and in fact when we go to events, people approach us and say, oh you helped my sister, my cousin, my uh, friend, is just gratifying. So I think we are at a cusp maybe of embarking on a new journey and for us that journey is going to be about preventative work. Well I think it's incredibly important this is not a women's issue. This is not a women's issue, it's a societal issue, right? So the more you isolate this and only have women involved, the less it is taken very seriously as it should be. You, know, you, need, you need men, you need, you need kids, you need everybody to come in and understand this is a problem. Everybody deserves this base level of dignity and freedom, and when you take that away from someone, that's, that's not a women's problem, it's a human problem. So I don't really look at it as male or female, I think everybody just has to get in and do something. Thank you for joining us at Maitri's 26th Annual Gala. For more information on the organization, please visit www.maitri.org.